Okay, so I am I have a goal trying to make ten thousand pounds online and doing it through creator businesses, communities like authenticity, showing myself, doing what I'm doing, solving problems in a community setting. And I made this video the other day about how I'm using ChatGPT to kind of like help me do this and basically using these custom ChatGPT bots that I've made myself to help me do the process. So it's like I've got loads of assistants doing jobs and I kind of set up this one uh, TikTok GPT and it didn't work. Like I've bucked it. I made this video here, right here. I made the mistake. And I don't know. I don't know. Oh, fuck, there's a train now as well. Awful timing. <laughs> And basically, it didn't work, it was bad. Like, it didn't give me any results because it was, I was trying to go too broad and too, uh, like, too wide with it. I was like, okay, take the VPT, you're gonna help me go viral on TikTok, and then I'm gonna tell you this, and it's gonna be perfect, and you're gonna be done, and you're gonna be doing it. What I missed out was, there's loads of aspects of each of these things which you kinda have to master as a creator, and so does the ChatGPT. For example, to go viral on TikTok, you need a good hook, you need a good idea, posting strategy, posting times, all this kind of stuff. And instead of having one GPT bot that, helps, that does all of it, you can have five or six that do each step of the process, right? And I figured this out and it got me much better results. I haven't done it with TikTok yet, but I've done it with YouTube. And right now I'm gonna show you how I did it and the results I got. So on YouTube, right, I can show you this on my analytics. Um, how do I show you this here? So right here, you can see flat line not much really not much really and then boom i know obviously more videos are posted but like you can see right here and then this boom of videos that's 2000 views right in that much time which is pretty crazy that's like 20x my channel average before that apart from the one that was like a spike and then that was an anom anomaly i think but what's crazy about it is that i developed this ch uh, chat gpt bot called title gpt which helped me made really good youtube titles for my videos and it's another video like this. It's not a crazy edited video. It's raw footage, raw video. It's like five to six minutes long. I just used the chat GPT to help me make thumbnail ideas and the title for it. And it went crazy. And yeah, I, I had this one before. I had YouTube GPT, same as example as I explained before. And it wasn't really working, but title GPT fixed it. So today I'm going to show you kind of like what I did to make these kind of chat GPT bots. Um, it's really, really simple. I pretty much, so you, to make them, you have to have the, sorry, I'm just going to move that up a little bit, there we are. To make them, you have to have the subscriptions, of ChatGPT Plus or 4, whatever it's called, on OpenAI. Um, however, I will kind of be selling these, so you can pick them up. I won't be selling them for much, let me like three pounds. When I've kind of like made them better, I want to make them like, not perfect, but like better, so you guys can use them as well and get, and get you good results for yourself without having to use a subscription to kind of like pay for them or make them. So pretty much what I did, so I just created a GPT, you go into explore GPTs right here, create GPT, and then you can custom make it here. So you're gonna go through the create box. This is really simple, like this is really common sense and you tell you how to do this. You follow the instructions it comes up with and you'd be like, what do you wanna make? And I'd be like, oh, I wanna make a bot that helps me with the titles, but where, the, what really comes to play and what I'm going to tell you to today is the real value is I want you to make Google Docs like this, right? That have all the information that you need in there. Make a little list of kind of everything that you need to give the bot that you're making. Put it in a PDF and send it into the back end of ChatGPT. And when the back end is you move up from the create tab to the configure tab, scroll down a little bit, go to knowledge and upload files. You click there and you can export the Google Doc as a PDF and upload that into there. And when you're in the create tab typing to the create, um, sorry, right here, just when it comes up, you just be like, and it will ask you something like, is there anything else you wanna to add to this? And I'll be like, yes, always use the information from the knowledge tab that I've uploaded specific PDFs to help you with the process. Because in this PDF, you're gonna put specific knowledge um, and examples of how you kinda of want it to work. I'm gonna walk you through it. Say, for example, you want a ChatGPT that helps you make good hooks for a video. The first things you're going to want to do, put in a full sheet of who your target audience is, like audience, uh, demographics, psychographics, pains, desires, failures, who they are, what they do, interest, all this kind of stuff. So build up a profile avatar of who your target audience is. 
yes, this is the detail you kind of need to go into it. It doesn't take very long to do this. You can use an AI tool called Perplexity, and it's really good. It will browse the web. It's really, really quick, and it's going to be really useful for what's coming up now as well, which is the next thing. You're going to want to help it summarize like the importance of a hook. So you can be like, you can make one PDF of like all the data it needs. So it'd be like head, uh, page subheadings, and it'll be like first one, the importance of the hooks, and it'll be like, the hook is really important to help a video go viral on TikTok because of this, 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 and this. Feeding ChatGPT, it's like, okay, I need a good hook. <laughs> and then you can get examples of good hooks in your specific niche. Like, these are creators that use these hooks. These are ones which worked well, all right? You can even download, like, hooks. Like, some creators who help you go viral on Instagram, TikTok, they give out free product with hook examples. You can even take those and put it in to the back end onto the uh, Google Doc PDFs feed it into the chat GPT so when it gives you examples in your topic in your niche uh, with your ideas it will put them into the formula of the hooks that it's already given you which is really good really really useful it speeds up the process a lot and now so the other thing is I wrote them down of what I needed to kind of fill these things out sorry bear with me so another thing is your voice so the way you speak online it's especially if you're making like hooks for example you're going to want to, them to write hooks in the way that you speak right so you want to put your voice easy way to do this is copy your instagram and put it in to perplexity ai and just be like summarize how i speak my voice my tone of voice all this kind of thing and how how the algorithm works so how it pushes out videos how important the hook is for that the ideas to communicate to the audience so you're going to want to set up like Again, in the create tab, really, really simple. Like you don't need to code or anything like this. You literally just type in, I want the GPT to ask me what my video idea is before it gives me a hook. Simple. And then also your niche and your trends. So the different traits that you talk about. So you, you, might, just, you might just be fitness, you might just be business. But for me, I talk about fitness, business, health, uh, AI, entrepreneurship, gap year, this kind of stuff, all of it. So it can give you like a wide range of uh, ideas and stuff about that so yeah and give like extra stuff and obviously you can make these about anything you want i'm just teaching the ones that i know like hook and all this kind of stuff but say you're making about like food and cooking you can feed in recipes before the right the foods you want to use cookbooks i don't know all this other stuff to help you make recipes you basically have to give context and base the um knowledge that you kind of want to receive off of knowledge like inspiration and stuff that you've like looked at and yeah, these pe creating these PDFs do take a while, Google Docs, but you can use them again and again. Like when you're creating hook GPT, idea GPT, you can feed in your voice, you can feed in your target audience, the same PDF loads of times. And yes, it is best to split them up because you can put specific training knowledge in to each one. Like go to Mr. Mr. Beast video interview. Ah, oh, it's a train, man, it's loud. What the fuck? Oh, that's like a building train. Anyway. You can get like a Mr. Beast interview, summarize it up and all that. This it was like Mr. Beast says this is the best way to make thumbnails. You put that in and then that's a specific thumbnail one. You do the same thing for titles, so like you can split them up. And yeah, I feel like it's the best way to do it. You have then like five or six uh, like an army of GPTs to uh, to like use and hopefully scale like your your goal, like achieve your goal. And soon I'll be coming out with hopefully these individual GPTs you can buy, really, really cheap. And then coming out with like a creator bundle that has all of the ones in there for like short form, long form, all this kind of stuff, which would be really cool. And that would be like a bundle. So you can pick them all up for like £10. And so if you don't want to make them, if it's too complicated, or you don't want to pay for the £20 subscription, just comment something like, yeah, give us the uh, GPTs or something like that. And I'll make sure I get on that quick so I can get them to over to you guys. Anyway, this is my little uh, video. I hope you like the video like it's not a screen recording maybe it's not the easiest to follow but yeah thanks for watching i uh, hope you enjoyed it like comment any questions you got subscribe join the journey as i said we're trying to make 10k online for the end of 2024 and turn on gap here into gap life using ai business entrepreneurship and trying to go traveling i feel like i've spoken really fast in this video for like 10 minutes that's actually pretty impressive Let's take a drink of water <sighs> chill out and let's move on. Next part of the day, staying productive, staying good. All right, thanks for watching. See you next one. Bye.